Hello everyone, this is Tomo Daphne. Welcome to Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Ah, the big boss battle where we... Oh, is this the one where we have to like pick up the bottles and throw them at like the dams? And damn, I just blew that guy off a roof. Okay, where are the things we're supposed to break? We've already broken one. Mario's gonna stay behind and hero sight everyone who comes near. See? Evaporated a guy within the first minute of the video. The true Mario way. Okay, back to Mario. Here, we're gonna camp out with Hero Side with Mario while the other two do all the hard work. Imagine if uh it just randomly broke out of the Mission Impossible theme. Da 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 I think that would be funny. We gotta carry this over to... What is it? Oh, yeah, that... That looks like it. Da 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 How many different songs can I just sing randomly in the course of this battle? We've got one more. And... Where we're both through the pipe. You just need to find out where that third dam is and blow it up. Blow up the dam, they said, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'll get Vamp Dash first. So we can... Oh wait, can we just get rid of it now? And then keep flying. We got a cauldron right there. Then we punch you. And then I guess Rabbit Mario can camp out. Peach can have another cauldron back there. If destroying the dams is filling in the area with water. Does that mean, uh, does that mean we get less room to work with with each subsequent dam that we break? Because that would be a cool game mechanic. Oh, that person. No, they didn't just die. I think Mario just hero sided them and they lived. They're gonna try taking pot shots at Rapid Mario. But he's got team barriers going, so they won't do anything. Where were we? Oh, yes, Mission Impossible. Da, 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 da. They get the invisibility spark going. And see how much damage we can do without being seen by anyone. Can we throw it that far? I'm thinking no. Fine, we pass. We'll have we'll have the movement range next turn, and it's it's not like they can see him. So it's not like he's not in any real danger. They're all like jumping around wondering like where is that stupid rabbit dude? And he's like, sorry, you can't see me. Alright. And now we throw the bottle at the dam. And the water is flowing down the waterfall. I get the feeling this isn't it. This felt too easy. Yeah, the music isn't ending. We haven't gotten any sort of battle. Battle cleared, I guess. That's it. That's the battle. You jump for it, Mario. You go, man. I feel like you did nothing for this battle. There's absolutely no in between with Mario. He's either out there unloading all his attacks or he's just sitting back and letting the others do all the work. Leadership at its finest. Oh wait, and this is where the volcano erupts? It still reminds me of that water glass from Mario Odyssey. I'm pretty sure it was the Ocean Kingdom. 
And oh no, I, I hate to be Luigi in this scenario. He's just being used as a treadmill by rabid Luigi. Luigi never gets any respect. Okay, see, Peach has gliding abilities, so she's not gonna go hurtling to the ground like the rest of her friends. See, we're running, we're running out of space to walk. That still a gameplay mechanic I'd like to see. And all the flowers are blooming, and I wish we could have some rain. It it is hot. Oh, those rabbits have like flowers on their heads. And the ever bloom tree. Okay, yep, it's blooming. Because if it weren't, that would be a horrible misnomer. Okay, I just had a lot to say about that last shot. And no idea what order to say any of that in. You got Rabbit Luigi's upside down, Rabbit Mario's underneath Bowser. No, not a great situation for anyone involved. Again, at least Peach can float. There's a galaxy of all previously approved vacation requests are cancelled. So I'm, now that I'm done pissing off my subordinates, if any of you get married, go to prom. It won't be necessary, I hope, but there is one thing. Could you recommend a reliable mechanic? Wait, does the train still need fixing? I thought Sullivan was on that. Oh, gotta break the cursa thing. Oh, yep, it's Sullivan, back and better than ever. Oh, magnanimous hearted genie, if only I could minister to your every need. But alas, this goes even. Thou must seek his de fair and delicate mama, flower of Baron del Mesa, and a mechanical genie's ghost. just enough purified darkness energy to create a warp tunnel to her location, too. Very well, genie, so it grinds my heart to butter, paste. You cannot be grounded, but must fly through. Oh, Sullivan, I believe I shall miss you. He's adorable. I'm never going to date him. We'll let you get back to your railroad then, shall we? Okay, then, uncork the volcano. We get our XP. That's it. New quests unlocked. Check your quest log. Well, I guess we got nothing better to do than to uh, uh, lock the quest back up. I don't know where I was going with that. Okay. Quest, quest, quest. Those puddles on the ground kind of look like portals to another universe in the floor. You ever seen like the music video for Love Cherry Motion where there are like mirrors on the ground and they like teleport you to another dimension? It's kinda like that. Let's see what this little turtle guy's doing. Right. Oozers, check the memories menu. Mm. We might need that ladder later, I don't know. I just like doing stuff and touching things. Round here is the like the warrior and the windbag. This one's going to be interesting. The warrior and the windbag. Who, may, dare I say, is the warrior on this team? That would have to be... Oh, Edge! I forgot that Edge existed! I'm sorry, Edge. Dooms, unless you... I know better than to listen to that old hag. Would the windbag be Rabid Rosalina? No, we just have one with Rabid Rosalina. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Beepo also knows how much of an old hag Madame Bostrella is. And, oh, Rabid Mario. Is he the windbag? I don't know. I'll go with you. After all, we make one of its for team. Eh, eh. I would literally never like to see you again. <laughs> Edge is gay. I am very sorry that you'll never get the girl, but you can't change the fact that she's gay. Anyway, destroy Dark Messiahs, 20 of- The very least, destroying 20 Dark Messiahs is easier than defeating 20 enemies. What the heck was that battle? Oh my god, I forgot all about Whoops Gotta Go. There's so much stuff in this game that goes right by me. 
I see. Oh, yeah. Stupid idiot with a megaphone. Yeah, I remember him. No, I don't. Um, yeah, we get all the class. Wait, did I? Did I leave, like, the Electro Rain? I guess we'll have to work with, like, Electro Rain. Let's hope these, these water, oh, the water guys are weak to electricity, so that might actually be useful. Let's get some Sky Rain shock in here, shall we? Time to route rain hell! Lightning on all of you! Yep, and shock those two enemies. Wait, only one of them died? I guess only... What's with the range on these enemies? And so, like, the range of, like, the rain. Is it, like, the further out you go, the less damage it actually does? I saw it was, like, 442 damage to 442 damage. I sort of assumed they'd both get 442 damage. So, I'm trying to remember how exactly does Edge's attack work? Is it, like, where they, sh they like, targeted enemy and her weapon just hits everyone on the way there and then everyone again on the way back? So I guess it could be single target or multi-target depending on how you aim it. Or we could just have Mario, just rapid Mario destroy them all. Yeah. I have tortilla chips with lunch and my mouth is still a little bit salty. Let's get some shockwave ooze. Or... Or I could just punch you. Oh yeah, if we do this, we can also get that eye. There, and that is two out of twenty. Well, congratulations, because that's only door number one out of like 200. Ah! Oh! Ah. Oh, okay, we can get three if we do the shockwave here. Let's see, we can't dash the. Oh, we can. That's four. So if we forego that eye all the way to the right, we still get more eyes than we would have gotten if we had tried to get that guy over there. And Edge is still over here. Is there a way for her to get, like, behind? I want to see if I can, like, knock, knock both of these eyes right here with one attack. It's probably not possible. Where can I, can I get behind it? Oh, it'll, yes, I can. There. So, like, multi-target attacks are going to be our saving grace here. So, that guy takes damage. That Goomba's running over here. This Goomba's running over here. And that Goomba... I don't like that they make you watch every single Goomba on the stage move. So, like, Rabbit Mario's getting beat up on. Way to go. Hmm. Okay, we don't have Vamp Dash activated, so we can't get HP back that way. But we can take our anger out on these Goombas. Stand right here. Oh wait, what about that eye? The one that I, can I get them both? I'd have to do a little bit of tricky maneuvering. Or, just trying to figure out the easiest way to get, I mean, I could hit the Goomba, but it would do nothing. Or I could hit that eye, that one's blocked. All the way over there. That is some heck of range though. If you could throw that thing all the way over there. Meanwhile. And that one's close to dying. That one's close to dying. If we... Oh, wait. Can we not get them? Okay, now we can get them both. And that is ten eyes destroyed. We're moving over here. This Goomba's watching us, it looks awfully dashable. I'll throw it off the edge. Oh wait, I can throw it at the eye. That poor Goomba's being used as ammo. And we're out of attack, so let's just turn invisible so that the enemies can't see us. Wonder how the heck Rabbit Mario could lose so much HP in one turn. And enemies move around. Still trying to figure out how to get to that eye over there. Can Edge just walk to it, or do we wait? Or do we let Rabbit Mario beat up all of these, go around down the pipe, and then 
Nope, the enough counter blow. Yeah, there that we get two that way. Destroy those and then um dash the Goomba. It's right there. You expect me to not dash the Goomba? Here. Throw it at this eye thing. Kind of annoys me that you can't kill the Goomba by throwing it at the eye. This poor Goomba is just being kicked around like a soccer ball. And then Edge, yeah, she can walk over to that one and pick it up, throw it at the eye. This is what the game left us all these Goombas for. It's like, it's like ammo. Here, little buddy, I'm gonna throw you just over there. And then hide over here from the consequences of my actions. This one's gonna walk over here, this one's gonna walk over here. These two are out for revenge. How dare you throw us like that? Oh, there's a pull right there. Are you really gonna block the dark side like that? Joke's on you, I'm gonna go around. Oh, and then you get the shockwave. And then you get all these eyes cleared from the screen. That brings us to Battle clear. Okay, battle over. Edge is still not going out with Rapid Mario. She's not. All right, the warrior and the windbag. Plane a coin awarded. Edge is on the team now. Steampunk blade attained. Oh. Oh, we haven't checked out the skins for our weapons. Uh, yeah, we put Mario as the leader, cause he's Mario. It's a me, waha, yahoo, yippee, you gotta put Mario in the front. We get Vamp Dash back so we can have our precious HP. We need to heal Rabbit Mario. He got half of his HP chopped off by those splasher guys. He needs help. And then... We remove you... Then, okay, we got, oh, that's vamp attack. So we got a vamp attack and a vamp dash. Then, we move on. Oh, we got a new memory for Edge. Finally, I can read more about her and remember that she's here on our team in the party in the game. Oh, ooh, what's this place? Is Boistrella here to tell us we're dooms? Yup, that's the bitch I wanted to see. Shaking the camera! You are not duped, for you saved this Madame Boistrella's dimensional drift departures franchise location! Our stockholders are grateful. Now, accelerating combat beyond waits you beyond the gateway. Choose your team wisely! A fluorescent gateway. Complete Boistrella's gateway challenge. Can we talk to you, or where's the gate? Are you sure you want a combat expedition and dimensional drift? I'm not legally responsible for outcome. Is Bustrella just the female version of the Guardian voice-wise? Efflorescent gateway. Defeat all. Night. Why does the game keep doing this to us? Defeat 20 enemies. Defeat 19 enemies. Like, do I look... Do I look like a god to you? I might be Mario, but I'm still just a mere plumber. A man! Fine, we defeat 19 enemies. If anyone's gonna 100% this game, it's Beard Bear on YouTube. Alright, Splash Attack. Oh yeah, cause there are some wild claws here. And this one's a-going down first! Stomp him once, stomp him twice. Hit him with the aerial splash attack from the air. Those barrel are off. Yeah, wild claws are resistant to fire. Then, oh, it's coming back. Jokes on you, I'm leaving! Let's dash on this fella. I wish 
you could pick up any enemy, like you could with the Goombas. It would be funny if you could just throw your enemies off the edge of the screen. Actually, I think that was a thing in Donkey Kong Adventure, like Donkey Kong could pick up literally anything. And then... I mean, could... Okay, we already unloaded our dashes on the guy. All right, we've got magicians in one corner, wild claws in the other. We've got like, what's it called? A charcuterie board of enemies. See, the magicians? What would the magicians be on a charcuterie board? These are the questions that I ask myself while playing Mario and Rabbids. So obviously the wild claws would be some sort of meat. Maybe like the salami. The fire stooges, probably, you know how they put like jalapeno in sausage sometimes? Cause like with fire, they, f they throw flames. The ghostly fuckers, um, they turn invisible. Like, like prosciutto slices so thin that you can see through them. We have a lot of meat on their charcuterie board. What are, what else could you have? Cheeses, nuts, crackers, um, splash dash. You gotta have some water to wash down your snacks. And then we jump over here. Can we all can we get the ghostly fuckers? Okay, yeah, we splash. Oh, we can sp splash them again. We have three enemies gathered in this corner. We can beat them now. And we beat, we beat none of them now. And so what was the original question? Yes, magicians. What would, what would magicians be on a charcuterie board? I mean, let's see, they have healing moves and also barriers. What says healing and barriers to you on a charcuterie board? Um... So, we stomp on this guy, stomp on that one, get your guns out, shoot some dudes. No, wait, yeah, eliminate both of them, and believe. Hmm. How much time am I going to spend pondering the charcuterie boards of Mario and Rabbids enemies? It's kind of like... Did I? I feel like I've mentioned before that one failboat stream where he spent like 12 minutes asking himself which Kirby characters would jaywalk. It's kind of like that, but with more food. And then we get the Broa out or leave. So we have. Can okay, we put the Wild Claw here? Can sneak attack the Fireman. And then. Oh, right, Fireman's still alive. Okay, we go over here. We're out of dashes. Let's get back here. Oh, wait. If we... Brella from over here, we can hit the Wild Claw, if only a little. Yeah, let's see. Four... We just ignore them, let Rabbit Mario do all the work. Then, okay, Rabbit Mario is out of attacks and he's like, Screw you, I'm not doing all the work, and he leaves as well. Uh. Right, let's head out here where the enemies aren't. And then. What's over here? Hero side. Hero side, it's what's for dinner. Here, let's pass. Someone's gonna move. Okay, that one must be out of Mario's sight. Oh, wait, that's the summon. Alright, so magicians also have shock attacks. What on a charcuterie board would have a shock attack? Maybe some baby carrots. Now that I look at it, there's a bunch, all of the ones with the emo hair, they are kind of shaped like baby carrots. 
Yes. Hmm. Or maybe are ghostly walkers okay, what about the what are they called? Depleters? What would they be on a charcuterie board? So they drain your energy. So it's gotta be something that will drain your energy something on a charcuterie board that is will drain your energy or is somehow otherwise unhealthy. Then we bring Peach over here and she is out of movement range for these enemies. We're gonna have to do some jumping. Get Rabbit Mario over here. He's gonna go to the stronghold of magicians who will all have barriers. Well, I guess I'll have to hit all these barriers away. Wait. Yeah. That's... Wait, can I get all five of them? Screw your barriers! Okay, didn't kill any of them. But... Oh, and then we kill him again with, this, with the second dash. Let's just hide, use invisibility. Peach is over here. She can leave. Hey, Mario. Okay, wait. Mario can't hit those two from here, can he? Or we jump a second time, make our way over, stomp some heads, stomp some more heads and plop ourselves right here, and then jump into the air again. And jump into the air again. Because you know what? We still have some unused shots. Now we shouldn't... There's no use in shooting the barrel. We shoot the guy. He loses his barrier. And Peach hides here, and Rabbit Mario's hiding, and Rabbit Mario passes the turn. And like, what are these magicians gonna do? Okay, try to hit Mario. Okay, so I said the magicians were the baby carrots. Okay, depleters. I think that was the last one that I hadn't come up with anything for yet. So they wear very dark red robes. Maybe, maybe they're crazies. And there you have it, the charcuterie board of baddies. All right, all, all those magicians have run away. We'll have to go after them. You thought you could run from me? How many, how many enemies can we get in Rabbit Mario's radius of pain? Okay, first we can't, we can use Splash Dash on this man right here. S splash him out of our range. Oops. And that's why we have Peach for the assist! Get dashed! Okay, that Wild Claw's doing some very weird things. Let's dash him again. And that will have to be the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to blast that patriarchy, smash that like button, bomberman that subscribe button, and I will see you next week with more Mario and Rabbids. Goodbye.